and gentlemen, this is your best MC in town, MC Lion, and this is the Lion Empire TV. The Lion Empire TV is the leading hub of information, entertainment, and talent. And today, we are coming live to you from Eastland part of Nairobi, where the investigations about everything and over everything are going on. And today is the day to bring out all the truth and to join dots from where we left. Remember, when we were at KNT, uh, KNT we have a lot of unanswered questions. We have a lot of unanswered questions. Number one, number one. You see, number one, who invited Mola to KNT? Who invited Mola to KNT? Number two, why would Mola, why would Mola insist on proposing to Karen when they were not in good position? They were not in communicating terms, according to what they said. Why would Mola go ahead to propose to Karen when they were not in good communicating terms? Another question. Why would Karen refuse the ring when we suspect that he invited Mola to the show. Why, why would why would why would why would Mola why would Karen refuse to be proposed to when we suspect that she is the one who invited Mola to K and T? Another question: Why would Karen? Why would Karen? mentioned earlier on she had mentioned a list of more than five people she had mentioned a list of more than five people who she accused that would have been the father of her unborn child why would she accuse that the whole of that list and before she had not mentioned city 254 and now she mentions city 254 as the newfound love another question when did karen and C2254 meet first. There is a truth we need to get from this. Did Karen, did Karen want to put C2254 into the trouble with Mola? Another question. We have always known Mola as someone who fights in every incident. Why was he peaceful? What was he up to? And why do you think he did not want to fight that particular day. Could this be a trap? Could this be a trap to get our attention, then later kidnap some of us? Is this the end of 2254? Is this end, the end of City 254 and Lion Empire because of getting ourselves into a big quagmire that maybe we will not be able to move or to get ourselves out of? Mm -hmm. Who do you suspect could be the father of the baby? After Karen has changed in the new twist that now it does, she does not love Mola and now she loves two, City 254. Does that mean the unborn baby belongs to City 254, belongs to Mola, or the, the other list which was revealed the other time when she was mentioning names? Why do you think Karen or what do you think Karen is up to by inviting Mola to K and T and refusing a ring and then accusing City 254 of the one being the father of an unborn child? Ladies and gentlemen. I have seen many speculations. I have seen many people talk of how I could be associated with Mola. I want to clean my name out of this. I am not in any way, in any how, in any way associated with one Mola. I do neither. I do, ne I do not either come from where it comes from. I have seen people mention of how Mola has a Luya, Luya body and has an accent of uh, Kisi. I do not neither come from any of those places I just mentioned. 
I am not related with him. I do not know him. I just met him during when we were doing the interviews. Another one. Why would a lot of people say that they were doubting me? Why would people say that they were doubting me? Why would they say they were doubting me? When I was purely doing what I am required to do. I am required to get the right information and bring it to you guys so that you can get the truth. And the truth must always stand. No matter how you twist it, no matter how you change it, I know and I am sure that every single cartel in this uh, whole saga, every single information that is hidden will soon be out. I am carrying with me a lot of evidence and that is why I've gone to, I, I, have, I, have, I have not been out there in public for more than uh, three days now. I have not have been out in the public for more than three days because I really wanted to get the whole of the truth. All these questions that I, 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 I read here carry the information of the whole saga from the beginning up to the end. When people say that I look like Mola and now they want to accuse me of being a cartel, maybe of being a pretender because people have also said that I'm a pretender, you tell us, you give us information. If we can take that information and digest it and it can convince us, then we can move and do a DNA test to see if we are related with Mola. Yes, we are ready to do that because we really need the truth to come out and people should understand that. Kitu ingine, jambo lingine. Kama una, kama Mola anasema, Mola anataka kutuambia alikuja kupropose. Yeah? Unaweza kuproposia mtu mwenye amjaongea amuongeleshani for some time. So that is a cooked evidence. That is a cooked something. Yeah? It is scripted. They scripted something to come and black black black, uh, black us at wa at this time now Mola amekuwa na mapenzi maka anataka kupropose. Why did Mola not propose hizi siku zingine zote? Then up to Karen. Up to Karen. Why would Karen now think now that she has not been able to to convince us fully that she has changed according to what she has said, we are still seeing her with a lot of scandal. What is really happening to Karen? What is really happening to Mola? Why did Karen mention City 254? Did Karen want to finish City 254? Because that is the move that we really feel is going to maybe hurt city 254 into a bigger percentage because city 254 will now be looked for by that demagogue that demagogue is capable of doing anything if the guy was refused by the lady and the lady now says she wants she wants city 254 then city 254 could be in danger and we are urging uh, the members of public to protect him uh 2254 2254. I know you are in dilemma. You do not know what to do now. Now that the case has changed, now that it has taken another dimension, but I want to urge you, my brother, that whichever the cost, we are not cowards, we are not going to fear these people, we are going to fetch them, we are going to get every information, and we are going to bring it out to the public, and every truth will be known. Because that is what we are after. We are not going to retreat. We are going to make sure that every information is out to the public. We are not cowards. We are not going to retreat. And I repeat the same. The last one. The last one. The last one. Mola now says, Mola changes and tells us he is an usher in a certain church. He even goes ahead to ask people to pray for him. Why would you pray for Mola when he says he has a lot of energy to beat people? Where is the energy going? What is draining Mola? Could Mola be a cultist? Why was he carrying that ring that he was saying we do not know the meaning of the ring? What is that ring? Could it be magical ring? Is that ring having some hidden powers that we do not understand? Why do you think Mola? was coming to the show with the ring. And why do you think he had to show it before the public? Ladies and gentlemen, this 
SD Lion Empire TV. And this is your best MC in town. Continue subscribing, continue sharing this information to a lot of people so that we can reach a, a wide range within the same time. Remember, remember, I will be coming back here with more details because already I've printed some details so that even if people pick my phone, even if they take my phone and my computer and my laptop, I still have these hard copies of the information that I want to give to people. And we are just about to bring everything out. Now, so far so good, we have been able to get more than 75% of these questions that we are answering, we are asking with valid evidence. And we are bringing this to you live. I want you to tell us, I want you to tell us if it is legit or not. I want you to tell us if it is legit or not. Those questions are carrying the whole truth and the whole truth is being carried by that. Ladies and gentlemen, continue subscribing to this channel. Make sure you are with us and following this uh, stuff to the end.